This video will demonstrate the ankle routine procedures, namely AP and lateral projections. First is we are going to demonstrate the AP procedure of the ankle. The cassette that we are going to use is 18 by 24 cm or 8 by 10 inches. And, if, and in a lengthwise orientation, or we can use the 24 by 30 cm or 10 by 12 inches crosswise orientation for two images on the eye mark. Um, this, we, this is a non-grade pr uh, procedure, so meaning we don't want to use a grade. And positioning, the patient must be seated or in a supine position on the table wherein the patient's leg is extended and foot support under the knee. Align the leg and ankle parallel to the edge of the IR and make it center on the IR. Ensure that there is no rotation, long axis of the foot is vertical and parallel to the CR. Um, note that the lateral malleolus will be about 15 degree more posterior than medial malleolus. Um, the, center, the central ray must be centered at the uh, must be perpendicular to the ankle joint at the midpoint between the malleoli. So the central ray must be at the midpoint of the ankle joint flex flex make sure that Next one is um, the SID that we're going to use is 40 by 44 inches or 102 to 113 centimeter. So in collimation, collimate the lateral skin margins include proximal one half of the metatarsals and distal of the tibia. Distal of the tibia. Then, before um, exposing the pa before exposing the foot of the ankle of the our patient, make sure that you are going to um, shield his gnats because the gnats are very sensitive to rotation. And let me check for collimated and center. Ensure that there will be no rotation. Perfect. The next um, procedure is medial lateral projection of the ankle. The cassette that we are going to use is 18 by 24 cm or 8 by 10 inches. This um, procedure is do not use grid. So in positioning, the patient must be in a recumbent or supine position, turn toward the affected side until the ankle is lateral. Dorsiflex the foot at 90 to 90 degrees to the leg if patient can tolerate. Since the patient is well, she, he can tolerate. Wait lang. That's the patient. The next one is to place support under the knee as needed for the lateral of lateral foot of and ankle of the patient. Place the long axis of the IR parallel with the long axis of the patient leg and center into the ankle joint. Ensure that the lateral surface of the foot is in contact with the IR. Contact with the IR. Note that the dorsiflexion is required to prevent lateral rotation of the ankle. Shield, and you always remember that you need to shield the glands of the patient before exposing it. The central ray must be um, perpendicular to the angle joint to the medial malleolus. Must be, the central ray must be centered. Next one is, the SID that we're going to use is 40 to 44 inches or 102 to 113 centimeter. Collimation. 
Always remember to collimate the four sites to the ankle region, including the distal tibia, fibula, and proximal metatarsal. Must be the center eight, then center eight. Again, the central ray must be perpendicular to the angle joint to the medial malleolus. Perfect. And the collimation again, collimate on the four sides of the anchor region, including the distal tibia, fibula, and proximal metatarsal. Collimate it. Perfect. That would be all.